All right then guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over um, how this knife was to use in the field whilst out hunting with my grampy on Sunday. And uh, we ended up skinning uh, a squirrel and two pigeons. So I'm gonna talk about how this knife performed, um, if it was ergonomic, etc., how it kept the edge, how it was to use in my hands and also my grampy's hands as well, and what both of our thoughts were on the knife. So let's get straight into it. Skinned up uh, a squirrel and two pigeons. Uh, obviously pigeons we took the breast meat so we were t uh, hitting the breast bone as obviously not purposely but when you're just skinning them you're obviously going to end up hitting the breast bone things like that so we got four pigeon breasts uh, two from each pigeon obviously and then the squirrel we did last uh, so with the squirrel uh, we were obviously cutting through the tough skin squirrels are very tough skin and this knife was just gliding through the fur uh, it was gliding through the fur it, it, we kind of it was struggling a little bit but um, obviously that's because they got very tough skin once we actually got to meat and just cutting through like normal skin not the actual fur skin where it was very uh tough this knife was just gliding through it it was it was cutting through with the breeze to be honest with you guys um obviously squirrels do have very tough skin if you guys hunt you know what i mean they have very tough skin once we were cutting the actual meat off it was perfect it withstood the bone uh cutting through the leg bone to get the legs off for the meat going across the spine to get all the back meat off and things like that Obviously it had some blood on it, obviously from doing that, it's going to get blood on it. So what I did was I just dipped the tissue in some water by where we were and to clean the blade off. And when I got home, uh, I just used some dishwashing soap, like uh, some fairy liquid, some hot water and just scrubbed it and cleaned the blade. Very, very waterproof, uh, the G10. So it didn't affect it at all. Uh, there's no gaps where the water got in and made a gap, if you can see down here. Bring you closer, there you can see there's no gaps. Withstood it perfect, to be honest with you didn't do anything it didn't change the color of the material it didn't make the material feel weird it didn't do anything the water was no match for this g10 still looking as beautiful as it was um before it was used and before it ever came in contact with some water obviously because the blade is 1084 steel uh, like 01 and 1080 1095 they will rust if they are left wet so like i said once i actually cleaned it off i dried it very well and when i got home i cleaned it with the fairy liquid to clean the whole blade so if it's not very uh, hygienic, if it's just being cleaned with water, so I used boiling hot water and fairy liquid to clean it. Um, and obviously then I dried it really well with some paper towels. And then I, I'll show you exactly what I use now. This is what I would recommend any of you guys use if you buy one of my knives or you just have a knife overall that's not uh, stainless steel. If you shoot, you'll know what this is. Um, me and my grampy both use this. It's just Abbey Gun and Rifle Oil. Uh, you don't have to have this doesn't just work on guns it works on any metal parts because obviously it's to stop guns rusting and things like that uh it's also very good for stopping rust on knives so i definitely recommend you guys pick up some of this it's i think it's quite cheap it's only about eight pounds on ebay this abbey gun and rifle oil as you can see um oh, dropped it so yeah like i said after i dried my knife off very well with it uh very well i just Applied a couple coats of oil on it, rubbed it in, I uh, made sure the sheath was dry, made sure all the rest of the knife was dry as well. I also did run some oil over the spine of the knife down here and also uh, here and under here as well, just to keep it just to keep it all good, keep it all in tip-top shape. You can also use uh, WD-40, but uh, it's not the best uh, food-wise, obviously if you're using a uh, knife for food prep and things like that, it's not the best. I'd recommend the gun and rifle oil, best, but if all you have on hand is WD-40, then it will work. It will stop your steel rusting. It'll work perfectly fine, but personally, I'd re I've got both. Um, I'd recommend the rifle oil because I also use it for my guns. That's why I've got it. But like I said, if all you have is WD-40, it'll work great. But so after we did this, I decided to test the edge retention. So obviously it's been hitting against bone. I wanted to see how well this edge was kept on the knife. If it chipped the edge and how it performed, it was flawless. Uh, I used a piece of cardboard from a target in my bag, gliding through it. And then my grampy said to me, why don't you test it just towards the tip? So what I did was I just put the tip on the target and just pushed through just so the tip in here was cut in, not the rest of the blade. Glided through perfectly, not an issue at all. Um, then I came home then and I stropped the knife on my leather strop, gave the knife a little strop and it came out perfect. I'll show you now. a razor sharp edge so overall i'm very happy with how this knife performed uh because obviously this is my new hunting knife with the uh, red g10 scales six mil brass pins six mil outer diameter and a five mil inner diameter lanyard tube with a little snake knot on there with some two mil thick paracord 1084 steel 400 grit on the flats 400 grit on the bevel really nice knife as you can see 
all flush around here. I've already shown you guys this knife, but I'll just show you again. All flush, no gaps, all lines up. It's the little things that matter in my opinion. Uh, black, two mil thick, Kydex sheath. It's very rewarding to skin game with a knife you've made yourself, I think. Um, I, I certainly thought it was anyway. I thought it was really uh, rewarding to skin game with a knife I'd made myself. It was a pretty cool experience. Um, I think my grandpa enjoyed it as well. We both enjoyed using the knife. Very ergonomic. Uh, very ergonomic, this handle shape. It's quite a simple handle shape as well. It's nothing too intricate. Um, like hasn't got the finger grooves and things like that, like some of the other designs I do have. Um, but just a simple design. But it just it's, it just fits just right, you know. Um, I haven't got massive hands in the gloves. I'm a size medium. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Comment down below about if you have any other questions about my knives or if you're interested in buying a knife yourself. Just drop me a comment down below or shoot me a message on Instagram at Corey Jenkins Outdoors and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys.